there. I want to zero right in on what the president had to say in answer to a question of Fox News, John Roberts. He asked him, have the Mexicans done enough to prevent the imposition of tariffs next week? And the president replied, no, they've not even started yet. He went on to say he insisted that Mexico should not allow millions of people into our country. He described it as an invasion. He thinks that they will step up and do something about it, but unless they do, those tariffs will be imposed. I thought that would move the market well, he didn't south, answer the but question. it did not. He didn't really answer the question because John Roberts was saying, look, it appears they are taking steps stopping the onslaught, arresting more uh, migrants, stopping the flow, but he said, no, they're still due to go into well, effect next week. It's very clear that the president was very frustrated when he kept saying that the cartel does not run Mexico. Right, right. When we all know they actually do run Mexico. Mm -hmm. But what the president was actually saying is that He's tired of the excuses from Mexico. Get a hold of your government. And so, as he said from the very beginning, border security is national market. security. Uh, we have to look at the market because yeah. it's up 250 points. Obviously, nothing negative for money was announced at that press conference, and we're up 256. That's over 1%. The Nasdaq up over 1% as well. Susan, what do you got? I would say trade was actually very positive yes. in terms of the bilateral trade agreements that the U.S. Yes. and the U.K. could sign. President Trump says it could be two to three times times yep. what we're currently doing at this point and a lot of pleasantries when you say exchange between Prime Minister Theresa May and President Trump as well she is leaving office on this Friday and he, he has basically said she deserves a lot of credit in terms of the work she's done on Brexit. James Carafano also with us observing what's been going on here. James the president was talking about a trade deal the United States and Great Britain he said it could be a phenomenal trade deal with tremendous potential and as Susan said could be two or three times the level of trade that we've got now. Is that helping the market, and is that what we were expecting, James? Yeah, I, I, let's roll back the tape where, where I was right, right? So this is exactly what I said they were going to do. They talked about trade, they talked about Brexit, and they did. They brought up both uh, Iran and China. So they, the, the president's been very, very good about it, honing in on these issues. But I'd like to go back to the Mexico thing, because I think mm. it's very important to go back and look at the executive order. And there's two very important things in that. One is the, the, the incremental raising of the tariffs. And the other is, is there is nothing in the executive order that says exactly what the deliverable is right. for Mexico to get that. And that's important. So that was clearly designed, as was the president's statement today, that he is a, this is, I think, about the third or fourth time with AMLO that he's been negotiating it. And so it is, this is a negotiating process, and I think the center of gravity is the next, the next week or so, and we'll see that the Mexicans have come to town to deal, but, but they've come to town as they don't know what Trump wants and what will make him happy. And I don't even think his own administration knows that. So the next couple of days are going to be super interesting on that front. Uh, yes, they are. Well, just actually. to pick up. He really teed it up today. He, he teed he it up in this press conference. He, he did. did. He, but he, 